One of the most difficult days that every human will encounter is the day of resurrection. A day which will last for 50,000 years. And the ahadith inform us that the sun comes down and men will boil in heat and they will be standing in puddles of sweat in a time of great difficulty and anxiety. Allah Rabbul Izza protect. And that day of great difficulty and strife, heat and discomfort, there's seven categories of people established in one hadith who will have the safety of being in the shade of the throne of Allah Rabbul Izza. They are what I call the Magnificent Seven. So the Prophet Sallallahu told us and the hadith is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu Sab'atun yudilluhum Allahu fi dhillih yawma la dhilla illa dhilluh Seven categories of people will be shaded under the shade of Allah Rabbul Izza the day when there is no shade but the shade of Allah Rabbul Izza The first category, listen dear ones Imamun Adil, a just ruler or if you like, a just leader. Because although explicitly it refers to a ruler, but rulers are leaders. And in that capacity, each one of us are leaders in our own right. So implicitly it refers to everyone that holds a position of leadership. And the hadith of the Prophet Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'oolun each one of you were shepherds and each one responsible for their flock. So the president, khalifa, leader, king of a country, justice is a requirement for him, for a minister, and even for you at home, you who run a family, justice is a requirement for you too. Amidst, amidst your children and amidst your family, may Allah Rabbul Izza grant me and you the capacity to be just. And if a just person comes at the head of an institution or an organization or a ministry or a department or a country, Allah changes the affairs of that institution, organization, you know, ministry or country. We've seen it in history. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz came, a single just ruler, and through him Allah Rabbul Izzah covered the land with justice. And in the end of time, the ahadith tells us the land will be filled with corruption and vice. And then a single ruler will come uh, bent on justice and Allah Rabbul Izzah uh, will bring justice and goodness at his hands. Uh, so dear ones, aspire for justice in all your affairs. Move away from this ad hoc favoritism, uh, whether that's at an employment's component of life or whether that's at work or whether that's family or whether that's your children be just in Allah ya'muru bil adl Allah rabbul izza grant me and you the ability to be just that is the first and foremost kat imamun adil wa shabun nasha'a fi ibadatillah second category a young person who has grown up on the obedience and piety of Allah Rabbul Azza. And young is different for different people and some scholars consider up to 45 young, so you're all good inshallah. But to have routines in your day to day where you're in the obedience or in the worship of Allah Rabbul Azza, before a time comes where you're old and frail and then you regret uh, not having spent your prime in the worship of Allah, and what better a way to spend the precious moments of life than in the obedience and in the worship of the Dhul Arsh al-Majid and Fa'alul Lima Yurid. وَرَجُلٌ قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ And a man whose heart is suspended in the houses of Allah. So the type of person who loves the masajid, and not only that, but as he's out and about his normal work and life, and the heart is longing to be back in the masjid and he's thinking inshallah I will get there for Asr or inshallah I will get there for Maghrib and his heart although he is other ways uh, you know in other places but his heart is suspended in the masajid Rajulani tahabba fillah ijtama'a alayhi wa tafarraqa alayhi Two people who love one another for Allah's sake, as in two brothers or two sisters who love one another for Allah's sake, 
they come together out of that love and they part out of that love as in in love they come and in love they go and this is a beautiful way of earning the mercy of Allah love another brother for the sake of Allah love another sister if you're a sister for the sake of Allah and listen to the hadith and the hadith is a hadith Qudsi the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam naqlan an rabbihi jalla subhana informs us al mutahabuna bi jalali al yawma udhilluhum fi dhilli yawma la dhilla illa dhilli for the those who loved one another for Allah's sake today I will shade them under my shade the day where there is no shade but my shade and even Bigger than this is Al Mutahabun Bijalali Lahum Manabir Min Nur Yahubituhum Nabiyuna wa Shuhada. Those that loved one another for my sake, I will seat them on stations of light. Like in the Akhirah, you will sit on stations, thrones of light, and prophets and martyrs will envy you. Why? Because you loved another brother. خَالِصًا لِلَّهِ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى Or oh, a sister loved a sister just for Allah Rabbul Izzah and for the proximity that they have to Allah Rabbul Izzah. The next one وَرَجُلٌ دَعَتْهُمْ رَأَى ذَاتَ مَنْ صِبٍ وَجَمَالٍ فَقَالْ إِنِّي أَخَافُ اللَّهِ And a person who is invited to indecency, adultery, fornication by a woman who has status and beauty and this person has the consciousness and the presence of mind and the goodness of character to say, I fear Allah. And وَرَجُلٌ تَصَدَّقَ بِصَدَقَةٍ فَأَخَافَهَا حَتَّى لَا تَعْلَمَ شِمَالُهُ مَا تُنْفِقُ يَمِينُهُ And a person that gives charity and gives it so secretly, so quietly, with so little fuss, that his left hand doesn't know what his right hand has spent. So he doesn't take pictures and Instagram it and promote it and YouTube it and Facebook it. Although if he's doing that to encourage others, it is meritorious and there's nothing wrong with it. But this is another level altogether for those who spend in the path of Allah so secretly that no one knows about it. I know of cases in other countries the winter used to be very cold and snow covers the land and these righteous individuals who no one knows would wrap cloths around their faces and pick up and bags of coal or wood fire and go place it behind the house of a person who was having difficulty through the winter and without any note or anything they just used to walk out or walk away the person used to come out and look that there's a big bag of coal or wood for them to burn through the winter they don't know where it came from but they know it is for them that person doesn't want any recognition any note any notice the one who he wants recognition from he sees it and doesn't need any evidence beyond that fault. So give sadaqah dear one, especially now, so quietly and so, with such little fuss that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand does. وَرَجُلٌ ذَكَرَ اللَّهَ خَالِيًا فَفَاضَتْ عَيْنَاهِ And the last category and by no means the least, a person who remembers Allah in seclusion and his eyes tear. So you're driving and you recite a verse and a tear comes down your eye, glad tidings to you. You have made it into this category. The ones whom Allah says, the hadith says about that they will be given the shade of Allah Rabbul Izza, the day where there is no shade. Or you're walking and you recite a verse or remember the mercy of Allah Rabbul Izza in your eyes tear. Or you're listening on your desk at home to a YouTube lecture and you hear about your Lord and quietly, secretly in that intimate moment where there's no one, just you and your Lord. Uh, your eyes tear whilst others are spending that same time in wrong. So hadith of the Prophet says, you will be given shade the day where there is no shade, but the shade of Allah. May Allah Rabbul Izzah make us of those who have security on that day and who have safety on that day and who are given shade under the shade of Allah the day where there is no shade, but the shade of Allah.